what I try to do is to look at the history of Islam, the, uh, how uh, Islamic attitudes shifted over time, uh, and how today's Turkey uh, gives us again the lesson that Islam can be understood and interpreted in different ways. And the Islam of the ruling elite versus the Islam of the more oppressed masses can also be very different. Of course, every government should be restrained by law. Uh, and the, the conservatives who saw this need a decade ago uh, don't see this today enough, which shows that the main problem is, 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 pol is the political problem. Uh, in this sense, Turkey doesn't look like a, a country that is constantly evolving into a more liberal democratic future. It rather looked like uh, a country that is trapped in the cyclical history of Ibn Khaldun, a Muslim medieval thinker. He said, well, there are elites in a country, they have certain traditions. New elites come and conquer them, they change things, but they gradually imitate the old elites, adopt the same habits. In that sense, uh, we do have a problem with authoritarianism. Again, not this, this time at the hand of a secularist, but this time at the hand of religious conservatives. The problem is power plus a certain ideological narrative which wants to use this power excessively to create an ideal society. Uh, this was the case with the Kemalists. In Turkey, the Kemalists, those who claim to follow the footsteps of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, Turkey's founder, said that they want to create this ideal society. Turkey had to westernize itself, so they had to impose a cultural revolution. They had to use all the powers of the state to transform the society into their ideal secular nationalistic form. They banned the Kurdish language to nationalize the culture. Uh, they banned every, th every culture other than the Turkish ethnic culture. They also imposed a certain way of life on the religious citizens, sites such as their bans on the headscarf. Uh, so, power plus an ideological narrative. Now, with the, when we look at the uh, pro AKP conservatives now, we see that there is a new narrative, ideological narrative as well, which also imagines an ideal nation. An ideal nation which people will be more conservative, more practicing, more moral in the way that it's defined by the government. And it, is, it would be unfair to say it has come to the levels of Kemalism, uh, but there are signs that a new type of Kemalism, this time, uh, for a religious idea and uh, under the leadership of now Ataturk of course but Erdogan this time is in the making therefore I believe it's a duty for an intellectual to warn this threat at this early stage because if Turkey goes on like this and with more concentration of power under Erdogan and, and the political paradigm that he uh, that he promotes without any restraint, without any checks and balances, it will becomingly, uh, it will become growingly more authoritarian. And as a Muslim myself, I am disturbed by this because I don't want authoritarianism in the name of my religion. I want to see my fellow Muslims respecting people's different choices and wills, and Islam articulated only in the civil sphere, without any coercion, without any state-based imposition.